Okay, are we on? Yeah, we are. Okay, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I, I took a little break. But, uh, yeah, I forgot I was about to die. That could be a bad thing. Um, let's try and get this done. Woohoo. Don't kill me. No. Oh! Uh, panic! Woohoo! See, she panics! So funny. No, you do not stop. No, stop standing there. She sits there and, like, cowers right in front of the guy. No, get off of me. I'm almost out of my panic mode. Yes, I, I, I survived the panic. What now? See, panicking in this game is much different. It's interesting, I think. I mean, panicking in Haunting Ground is plenty interesting, but this one's more interesting. If you ask me. Okay, back to this room. Um, there's a room that I accidentally tried to run into. Because I was like, panicking and trying to run away. And, uh, yeah, there's barbed wire on it, so I need to use that. Oh, wait, no, I, she's not Fiona. I don't have to go in the inventory. It's sealed off with barbed wire. Use the pliers? Yes. Well, how she gets the time to do this while she's getting chased, I don't know. The wire has been cut with the pliers. Uh, uh, is there anything I can do in here? Oh, that's this. Repellent arrow. Okay. Indeed. A carved wooden box. Open it. Yeah, why not? Oh. Scene. Indeed. Oh, what a pretty song. She's so cute. Yeah, she is. Such a cute little girl, and then her dad's all like, hi. You're home early. May, I have to tell you something important. Daddy's going off to war. War? I hate the thought of leaving you here all alone. I feel dreadful. She feels dreadful. I'll be all right. But what about you? Well, You'll yeah. Miss me and be sad it's kind of a horrible you? thing to do to your child. Yes, yeah. yes I will. But the most precious thing to me in the whole her world. Her voice doesn't fit her though. But don't worry. She's like mm -hmm. Daddy, older. Don't forget the piano her voice sounds older, but Eve. she looks very young. The winner will have their performance yeah. aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win uh, the practice contest. Practice is a C, so that you can people. Hear me when you're out in the war. A C. That would be wonderful. Hey, hey, hey. The competition will be stiff, that. but if you go to Remember, your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do it. I'll practice every day. No, there's a C I've in there. I've chosen the piece I'm going to play. This Not in Britain. Probably. <laughs> Highly doubt they do. What they're used in the word like color. You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve, so you can think of Mummy and me. Mummy. Then it could be like we're all together again. <laughs> Isn't that a movie, Mummy? In Egypt, <laughs> yeah. Aww. You look so sad. Yeah. That's so sweet of her. Oh, war time. Oh, I'm not playing a war game. Stop with this. Oh, that must be him. Yep, that must be him. Because he's got him in the face. Or, no more on the back. Yeah. And then the watch. Yeah, that really does suck. Yeah, it does. Oh look, there's a watch there. Dun, dun, dun. Pocket watch. Still more inside. Hammer killer hanged. 10 September 1941. Robert Morris, 32, the man known as the Hammer Killer, has been hanged. Rumors with a U regarding Morris's death are widespread. One witness reported he was hanging for a very long time, pulling on the strengths and straps and making unearthly noises, and blood was oozing through the black cap. The stench was horrible. Some witnesses fainted and were carried out. Morris's first victim was Tony Flanagan, 35, a fellow employee at the Banbury Stonecutting Factory. 
On 6 June 1940, Morse suddenly struck Flanagan on the head with a hammer, killing him instantly. All five workers present were killed in the same manner. Morse disappeared thereafter. A string of similar crimes occurred until the time of Morse's arrest on 6th March in Arlington, Hampshire. Morse's victims number 12, and no clear motive has been determined. Specialists continue to be baffled by the seemingly abrupt change in his behavior, as well as the extreme violence of his crimes. Okay. No, I think we really should just, um, I forget what I was just going to say. Oh, right, we should all revert back to the British way of spelling things. It makes so much more sense. What, hanging and people? Then we wouldn't, you know, have this whole practice has a C and not an S, or rumors doesn't have a U thing. <laughs> because rumors does have a U. We're just Americans fail at spelling. Okay. Maybe I can save May if I get her father's pocket watch to her. I have to take the pocket watch to the concert hall. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Now I have to go deal with him again. Yep. No, first I stopped lagging. I stopped lagging. <laughs> what now? What now? Okay, is this the door? No, it's a window. There we are. He's probably right in here, too. He's probably gonna jump out. I'm gonna scream, and my mom's on the phone, so it's gonna echo all out around everywhere. Well, if it helps you, and he's not showing up for her yet, so I doubt he'll, you know, attack you out of the blue. That would probably help. Yeah. Okay, we're to the door. Woohoo. Yay! Um, Go save! I don't want to save. Nah. Do it. It's too far of a walk. He might show up. But I'm going to go to save anyway. Because that's what oh. my natural instinct says to do. You're, this is a boss fight. You're such a dork. The save point is on the way. <laughs> that it is. No, no it isn't. Yeah, what it is. No, it is not. It's, it's right yes, in it the is. thing. I'm going back. I'm back The save up point, you know the fountain? Uh huh. The fountain is a save point. It is on the way. No, -uh. you have to fight him before you do that. What? Don't you have to fight him before you do that? No! You go to the fountain, refill, save, and then you go fight him. Whatever, I went At the, the other way. Oh god. I went back to the beginning of the area to go save. My, my ways are weird, but I have a good idea of what I'm doing. And if you're right, then I will say that you are right, yet again. Just like with the color room thing. Also, I'm stalling for time, so I don't have to stop in the middle of this cutscene. So I'm probably going to be like, okay, we're approaching the bridge now, and I don't want to do this. So, um, yeah, next time on Let's Play Clock Tower 3. But not, about, not now. We have a minute yet, so. I mean, it's highly possible that there's more than one way to do it, you know. I was just saying, there is a save point on the way to the place. Well, maybe I missed it. <laughs> well, maybe you did. God. I don't know. <laughs> I only remember the save point right outside the concert hall. Oh, wait, that's it's where not... that boss battle is, isn't it? Huh, right outside the concert hall. Yeah. Yeah, it is before. What am I doing? Whatever. I saved. So I was right. Ha! Huh. Oh, went... you are always right with these directional things. Straight. Now you get to wait, wait. We're still on YouTube, yes? Yes, we are. Okay, then you admitted it to the public. I'm happy. Okay, yeah, here's that save point, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna oh. save yet again. And then next time on Let's Play Clock Tower 3, boss fight. Woohoo! Now, the boss fights in this one are different than the ones in Haunting Ground, so this is worth watching. Okay, yes. Um, uh, I'm gonna pause. Okay. Bye bye. Two cans, right? Of course. Yay.